So my next question is uh, for this person, how much does the company typically pay its employee for similar work? Usually they pay for the internees monthly uh, for fees 4000 to 5000 because their initial time to earn some money for TDA and basically the purpose of the internship is learning experience for their professional life and for other people's like professional persons they usually pay for 20 to 25 thousand per day uh, or per month because they are professional so they that's fine they, they know problems so they tackle the how to tackle the uh, difficulties in their professional work thank you Assalamualaikum, my name is Mohamad Yasek and today I am here to ask some questions related to my topic is should all internship be paid? So let's ask some questions from them. Assalamualaikum. My, my question is today, uh, what is the primary purpose of the internship? The primary purpose of the internship is to get and some experience of professional life and how to get, get together with the teamwork and environment of professional life and some uh, want to get some earn money. So, but, but our topic is should all internship be paid? Yes, topic? yes. It should be all uh, inter internee to be paid because they have to need GTA for uh, traveling, traveling and their initial expenses. That's why it should be paid paid internship. So my question is, what skills and experience will the intern gain from the internship? From the internship, uh, we can gain uh, programs, the team work. And for me, the internship is like you are having the skill in the field, which is suitable for you. Like I am a pharmacist, and uh, there are many fields in a pharmaceutical company. From the from the internship, I can improve this skill in food. Like, like in the sales, you have to work hard, you have to drive the bike by, while in the uh, office field, like I am in a regulatory field, I can know that how to deal with the government, how to deal with the legal affairs of the government. So, legal So, that's why this skill goes from and that this skill comes from, comes from the current shape. Uh, so, my next question is, how long will the internship last? I guess internship should last one month at least uh, because in the internship you have to you learn many things about your field so I think it should last for one month at least uh, according to my my uh, office work we have to know about many points of, about the legal affairs about the company about the government rules and regulations that's why it, it should take it should take one month at least. Assalamu alaikum. So I am uh, asked our next question with our next member. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Today my question is what are the benefits of paid internship? Um, well, um, the benefits of paid internship are basically number one, of course, you can get your travel expense. Um, it's actually very nice to get paid, first of all. And you learn a lot as well. Plus, if you gain money, you get more motivated to do stuff. It's as simple as that. Yeah. More, more benefits. Um, there's, I, I, you could say also that um, students, students who don't really have a lot of money, you know, for example, very specifically university students, they don't really have a lot of money. You know, like we go sit here and like eat stuff which is like 100 rupees, 200 rupees. It would be nice to go and eat something pretty decent, right? And um, number one, another thing would be probably because we actually need the money. You know, like. Uh, in a working experience, we should know how to file our taxes and stuff like that. And of course, when you get paid, you know, the, the tax have to be cut and stuff like that. So we need to learn those things. Our next question is, what is your experience with paid and unpaid ex un unpaid ex uh, internship? Um, well, uh, I actually did work at an unpaid internship back uh, like a couple of years ago, I think in 2021. Um, it was for a brokerage firm. And uh, I, I live in Kent, right? Believe it or not. And I had to travel all the way from Malir Kent to Ayah Chandigarh Road, right? And they wouldn't even pay for petrol and anything. It cost me around like 
I actually lost 15k just by doing that internship, you know? Like, it, it was crazy. I, I lost 15k, right? And uh, basically, another was I didn't feel motivated to work. I actually missed two weeks of the three weeks of internship. I only went the first week and I was like, nah, I'm not going anymore, right? And uh, what, was, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when, I, when I don't get paid, I just don't feel like I need to work. Like, uh, there wasn't any, you know, worth it. Like, okay, I gained experience about working for a data analyst, but that's about it. That's all I got. Thank you. So, so our next question is, uh, will the intern receive any benefits such as health insurance or fee type of? Please answer that. Uh, well, as an intern, you don't really need health uh, insurances or pay time off. You're already getting benefit by, you know, learn something from it. Um, there is something that you will get a stipend if uh, the company is really good and that's the only benefit that I think you will need as a intern. So uh, health insurance, it will somewhat help you if you uh, you know, if you get something from, uh, injured from being there or you get any interaction, any sort of hurt or injury from there. So the company should pay you for that or help you in the medical insurance or something like that. Other than that, I don't think the yeah, intern is, you know, any sort of is needing any sort of benefit from that. So that's all. Uh, so our next question is: Will the intern receive any academic or career credit for the internship? Uh, an intern does get a certificate for it, and you know the experience counts as well. And it is a boost for your CV. Like when I was working for Suti, I got I got a certificate for working there for six months and the experience was good and I got to learn a lot from that. There was a professional criteria for that and you know it was really helpful for me and I learned a lot I learned a lot uh, like I boosted my programming skills and uh, the intensive for data the data science and there was a lot to learn from that. There were professional colleagues there and they were always guiding me and helping helping me out. So and at the end of the day, I was uh, working out from there along with the experience and a certificate that was really helpful. Uh, so the conclusion of the video is uh, we collected the random answers from the interviewers that we interview and uh, we collected the answer that uh, inter should the internship uh, will be paid. So we collected the answer that many of the interviewers are saying that uh, most of the organizations and companies are not paying a single rupee to their internees for uh, bearing the uh, government's expense. But uh, we like to mention that uh, in, uh, our internee should uh, be given a handsome amount that he or her should uh, he or uh, she should be uh, bear expenses of convenience like many other things. So in the conclusion, we like to say that uh, we. Uh, our internee uh, has to pay a minimum amount as he required to travel. So that's the conclusion of the video. Thank you very much.